Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, it's been a little while since I've done a liquor haul, uh, but I went did a little bourbon hunting this afternoon and came back with some pretty cool things. Uh, a couple of neat choices, one I've been looking for for a while and two that are new. So I just want to share with everybody. So we'll start with showing you everything we got today. Um, there's the, uh, what does the haul look like today? So um, nothing for mama today. I know every time I go, I say I get something for mama, but she has plenty, so we didn't do anything for her. Got my standard bottle of Captain or Sailor Jerry. It's four dollars cheaper, so I go with Sailor Jerry. Better taste, higher proof. Um, overall, I like Sailor, Sailor, the Sailor Jerry. Uh, let's talk about the bourbons next. I had two different bourbons today. Uh, the Four Roses Single Barrel. Uh, this comes in at about a. <laughs> it's coming about a hundred proof. Uh, it is the again the Single Barrel Four Roses. Uh, you know, a lot of uh, uh, people out there talking about buying it, trying it. The guy at the store today, two of them both were like, it's their favorite uh, of the Four Rows variety. And basically said they love it. It's also pretty cool. It's got some cool factors in it. You can see the, the neck there. That's a, a leather neck. So I like some things that are a little bit different, a little bit cool. Um, nextly is, next is a Jefferson's Reserve. Um, you can see here, came in this uh, little c container, which again... Coolness factor. I like stuff like that. I thought it was pretty neat. Um, here's the the bottle itself. Um, I've seen a lot of the Jefferson Reserves out there, but I've seen most of the ones that I've seen have been the um, ocean aged uh, Jeffersons. So I saw this and I hadn't seen one out there and wanted to, wanted to go ahead and grab it. Um, as you can see, it's about a ninety. I don't know if you can see it. It's about a ninety point one proof, ninety point two proof. Um, real good color to it. Nice bottle. Nice presence. Um, good reviews out there. It's, it's rated rate like about a three and a half to a four out of five. Not quite as good as the Four Roses, um, but I, I think it's going to be a good a good sipper. They say um, it's a very old batch, and when I was doing some research on it, they said up to 20 years is some of the blend they use. So they use six or seven different blends. I'm sure they're all not 20 years. They probably have one of them that's 20 years, so they can make that statement. Um, but they also say it's a very complex uh, bourbon, so it's more for sophisticated palates. I don't have a sophisticated palate yet, but I'm excited to try it and see how, how I like it. And then lastly is a whiskey, not an actual bourbon, but I liked it when I saw it. I thought it was kind of cool, some good advertising portions on it. It's the Uncle Nearest 1856. This also is the 100 proof version. that They had the 92 proof. Uh, again, I like the higher proofs, so I went with the 100 proof. Um, just thought it was cool, something different. I like the you know Uncle Nearest uh, name. It's a um, it's in Tennessee, and they say, you know, their, their slogan is the smoothest whiskey in Tennessee, um, probably because it's, it's uh, distilled there versus in, in Kentucky, is why they're calling it Uncle Nearest. I don't know, but I thought it was pretty neat, so that's why I got it. So, again, overall, here's the haul from today. Um, each of the price points, um, each, the, the, the Four Roses, I think, was 60 the Jefferson Reserve was 50 and the Uncle Nearest was 40-ish. So, you know, decent price points. All of them on the Booze app showed about that same price point. Um, so I think I got fair deals on them and can't wait to try them. Everybody have a great Saturday. Thanks.